Hi. Welcome to Breva Creative. Today I'm going to be talking to you and showing you how I do a process called gel printing. So gel printing is technically a monoprint process, so you're not making multiples of anything. You are transferring a single image from, in this case, a magazine to a piece of paper, and you only get to do it once, there's no do-overs, and it's not like printing, like we think of printing as like, let's print a hundred different copies. But it's closer to painting in that there is only one copy of everything that you do. So let's get into that. So here I've got my supplies. I've got my all important paper. This is what we will be printing onto. I like to use any sort of paper works. Um, white works best, but if you're printing with white acrylic, you could use a dark um, piece of paper. And then you also need your gel pad, which is what I've got here. This one's fairly well used and well loved, so it's a bit of a mess, but that's all right. We also have this brayer, this is super important. These are super easy to find at your local craft store, so don't worry about it, but it helps you spread your paint properly. And here is some of the paint I'm gonna be using. <clears throat> and of course, the magazines. Vogue, I tend to prefer, it transfers super well of the ones that I've gotten. I've gotten all these magazines at my local thrift store. I don't subscribe to these things because I have no interest. Uh, in reading something weekly, yuck. <laughs> and I'm gonna pick a paint. In this case, I've picked the Liquitex Blue. And I'm just going to roll that around, smear it around on my block. So I use the roller to kind of spread it out the most evenly. Um, I don't think that brushing this on would work. I definitely think that you need the brayer to roll it around and get it super, super even. Just kind of go back and forth a bunch of times. And of course, clean the brayer off in between or else you get a crazy buildup of paint. So here I'm selecting my image and I'm just gonna push that down and rub it so that it makes contact Fully with the acrylic just kind of give it a good massage and then pull it up and you can see here that some of the parts have lifted and some have stayed down so it will create a kind of a transfer of this image and then you just put down your paper and pull it back up and the ink if you haven't let it sit for too long should transfer pretty well and you can see here it appears to be the darker ink that resists so that's what you're going to be picking up is the darker images and here this green paint is super super runny i'm rolling around and it is behaving interestingly so let's see how this works i'm just going to try to get it really smooth and then i'm going to try to transfer this uh lovely kind of bold graphic letters to that So again, just rub it around and peel the thing off. And as you can see, the super liquidy ink did not do well. It, I can tell right away that all of the paint stuck to the magazine. It was too thin. And I'm gonna try again with a, a more heavy bodied green paint. Um, so I'm just gonna roll that around and try again. Again, you're going to have to work with what your paints are, depending on the type of paint that you have and the type of magazine you're working on. It might take you a couple tries to figure out what works, and that's okay. Just use the pages that don't have pretty images <laughs> when you're experimenting, and save the pretty images for once you figure things out. So again, I'm just using kind of a different corner of that same page with those lovely block letters, and it appears to have come up pretty well. There's a couple spots that didn't fully lift, but that's okay. It's part of the process. So we're just going to layer that on over the blue of the woman, and I think we're going to do one more layer here in red. So let's see how this red paint goes. Again, these paints, all three, well, the green one from before is the same variety or brand as this red one, and 
Um, they transfer very differently. They have a very different body, even though they're exactly the same manufacturer. So again, it depends on the pigments. It depends on a lot of things, on how these transfer and exactly how clear or unclear your image is. So to see this red actually turned out really great. It is just a great, it is a great transfer. You can tell when you lift up the, the magazine how well they transferred. And that went great over the blue and green. Love it. So here we're just going to do another print. I'm just going to do a quick blue. You can see from a different angle how smooth uh, that brayer gets that paint on there and that is great. I of course love kind of big bold images. If you find a black and white image, great. Those tend to transfer very well and it's kind of easier to understand how they're going to transfer. When you're looking at a a color image, it's a bit harder to tell what's going to lift and what's not going to lift. It has to do with the quantity of ink that's actually printed on the magazine image. So the darker, um, the darker or more intense ink areas are going to resist. So that's what's going to leave paint on the gel surface. And then the white images or the lighter colors in the uh, image, your source image will absorb more paint, and those are actually what's going to lift. So it kind of almost inverts. No, it doesn't invert. It lifts the light so they stay light and leaves the dark, which is your color. So um, again, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, depends on the magazine. And it just takes some experimentation, which is great. That's what creativity and artistry is, is figuring things out and then doing it for fun. So again, I love to look through my magazines, not only for great Figures, I love figures in these prints, but also great textures if that's just a big block of text or like the red that it just pulled up that those really bold lines of that the building section there. Those transferred really well. And then you just do a couple of layers. I like one, two, three. Well, not one. I like two or three, sometimes four layers. It gets too busy after a while, so don't do too many, but just do a couple layers. See how it works. Do it again, see how it works. Eventually you get something you love. And of course, clean everything up after. It's hard to clean up paint off, dried paint off the gel pad, so make sure you clean it. So that was gel printing. I hope you learned something. I hope you liked it. Uh, let me know if you would like to see more of this same content or how to make one of these gel pads yourself. Comment below if you want to see that video. And of course, like and subscribe for more similar videos of us making stuff for fun because making is so much fun. Like and subscribe, follow for more. And if you try this yourself at home, obviously post it, tag us, let us know that we inspired you to create something beautiful. And bye!